let's begin. So, I will try to tell you in this presentation shortly what it's mean democratic education. Okay? So, this shape that you see here represents all the knowledge that exists in the world. So, let's put inside the knowledge, and now we have all the knowledge that exists in the world. We have a geographic and a science and a sports and culture and everything. Okay? As you know, this uh, knowledge double itself every year. Uh, and now, see something very interesting. You see these small kids, small people? This is us. Every one of us is different. Every, every one of us have a different talent and different motivation to deal with something different. And, and it's so amazing that we are different. Because think that we were the same. And I come here to this uh, lecture and you were Yaakov. And I go in the streets and all the people is the same. All is the, uh, Yaakov. I come to German, all is Yaakov. <laughs> I go to uh, United States, all the people is Yaakov. This is catastrophe. And the most beautiful things that we have in the world, that we are different. So amazing that everyone, when you meet something else, and you find that is different than you. And this is the, what I see, the difference between people. But when we're dealing with education and school, they cannot deal with all this knowledge that exists in the world, and they build this square. In this square, they say, oh, we cannot deal with this knowledge that grows up so fast every day. Let's build the knowledge that exists forever, that was right in the past and will be in the future. And they d decide that um, here we put a little bit of mathematics, but most of the mathematics will be here, in the area, in the outside school. We will build here some knowledge about uh, History, but most of the history will be in the knowledge outside school. We, in the school, will do a little bit geographic, but most of the knowledge of the geographic will be outside school. So, that can be okay, but this square says something else. You say that you want that everyone will get inside this square. And that's become really bad situation. Because think what we done. The most powerful engine of learning is the talent of this boy, Ogera, and air or is motivation. This is the engine of learning, motivation and talent. So what the square, it means the school say, it's not important to me your talent and it's not important to me your motivation. Please get inside the box. You are interested about riding horses? What is connecting to school? Get inside the box. You're connecting in mathematics, but this is not the mathematics of school. So please get inside the box. You're interested in history, but this is not the history of the core curriculum. Get inside the box. You're interested in love, love. What you do with love? Love is not connecting to school. You need to do something important when you are in 60. Learn mathematics, not make love. So get inside the school. And that's the big success of the school. They push everyone inside the school, also you get inside. Get inside, oh. And this is the catastrophe of schools. You cannot see the uniqueness of everyone. You cannot see the 
you cannot see the uniqueness of no one. Everyone look very crowded, very difficult to see the, 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 the talent of every different person. But that's the beginning. Now the square make a competition between all these people and this competition make this bell graph. He say, okay, pa, most of you is mediocres. Some of you is excellent, and some of you is very weak people. And that's really, really, really bad situation. Because people begin to believe that if they are weak in the square, they are really weak people. They are losers. And this is a, the big lie. What we say that this bell graph is not, not represent nothing. What we say that the weak people in the bell graph, they are weak people only in the square. If we go out from the square in this area, the weak people can be excellent. And the mediocre can find their excellent area. We say something very important. A lot, of, a lot of time, people ask me what children or students need to do in their first grade to learn re read, write, or something different. It's clear that in the first grade, students need feel that they are successful. It's it cannot be that someone come to school in his first year, and he feel average, a mediocre. He feel weak. It's unbelievable, it cannot be. It cannot be. He need to feel successful. And that's what we want to do in democratic education. The idea is that democratic education don't get this idea of the box of the square. What we are saying, that everyone can be excellent. How everyone can be excellent? If we give him to choose the area that he can develop himself. And in this situation, we take the student in democratic education outside of the box and looking from the area that they can be successful. And you see this man, a human being growing up, it's a symbol. We say that his emotional intelligence go up. It means that when someone feels that he's successful, he's believing himself growing up, and he become better learner, and then his chance to succeed is going up. What we say, that the most important thing that people feel that they can success, feel success, success, people can feel that they are successful. And then they can also, after they feel successful, go and deal with people, in, in, go and deal with things that they are weak. So, this is the main idea of what we say democratic education.